Uh, on the subject of immigration, today, later today, we'll have a press conference with some members uh, who are urging the president to act, uh, to use his executive authority uh, to improve the situation. Uh, I, we've had this conversation before, and I will again call to your attention our op-ed that we wrote that says the president no longer, no, no, not only has the legal authority to act, uh, but all the precedents of presidents before, uh, from Eisenhower, Kennedy, Nixon, you know who the, most of them before you were born, some of you, but uh, Nixon, Ford, Carter, Reagan, Reagan, Reagan on any number of occasions, uh, President George Herbert Walker Bush, President Clinton, President George W. Bush, uh, all of them have taken uh, ex made, take an executive action. There's some discussion among Republicans about trying to attach something that would preempt the president on immigration mm -hmm. to a CR or an omnibus. It's going to have to come up before the uh, middle of next month. Do you expect that to happen? Do you foresee a big fight? And, and how do you try um, to make sure the government doesn't shut down or address not having another shutdown fight in January? Well, I don't think the Republicans should do that. I don't think they should do that. They're saying to the president, don't uh, use your executive authority. Suppose he turned to us and said, don't use your legislative authority. That's what presidents do. They have executive authority. He has his authority to perhaps veto such a bill, but I don't think we have to go to that place. We have big problems. We want to create jobs, good paying jobs for the American people. Uh, we want to do what we do, whether it relates to energy, in a way uh, that uh, uh, grows our economy, keeps people in a healthy environment, and why are we uh, going down this path when Congress can prevent it all from happening by passing the Senate bill? 500 days since the uh, Senate passed the immigration bill. And, uh, and a couple of years since the Speaker has been saying over and over again, we will pass an immigration bill in the House. It may not be the Senate bill. We may not even want to go to conference with the Senate bill, but we will establish principles. Remember that? We saluted his principles. When they went up the flagpole, his members chopped down the flagpole. So, but nonetheless, give me another chance. Don't be excited about it. It's going to happen. And then it didn't. So Congress could uh, prevent the president from doing executive action by legislating on the subject at hand, passing this bipartisan Senate bill that passed over 500 days ago.